Last June, Northern Tool and Equipment launched their Rat Rod Go-Kart build-off between Minneapolis Public Schools and Lakeville North. We've been following along since then as the schools compete as part of the Tools for the Trades program. Today, I did a check-in with MPS as celebrity mentor Billy Lane is in the shop, offering advice and hands-on instruction as the competition enters turn three. Inside Roosevelt High School... Two, one. Billy Lane is firing up students' passions for the automotive trade. Having Billy here is awesome. I love talking to Billy. We talk about trucks and motorcycles and welding. It's feeling their instructors, too. I tell everybody I run into, random strangers at, you know, at the gas station, like, guess what? I'm, uh, I'm working with Richard Petty, Billy Lane. You want to see a picture? So yeah, one, I want to help make some progress on this because time is running quick on, for them. Then the other thing is I want to inspire them. You know, I want them to see, you know, um, they can be in my shoes someday, five years, 10 years, 20 years from now, through working in the trades and working with their hands. As the students at MPS and their competition at Lakeville North, have been working for the last four months on their rat rod go-kart builds. Northern Tool and Equipment has been providing the tools they need and regular meetings with Lane and Petty. Both Zach and I have an automotive background, but they have a background in more of the fabrication and more of the building like this, so their advice has been crucial to our, to our progress. I've been tasked with doing the fabrication and design of the, the cowl and the body. While Lane helps students with welding, fabrication, and other skills, he's here with a bigger message. For these kids, you know, and I'm trying to tell them this, I went to college, I have a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering, and I could have been a mechanical engineer. I'm doing way better doing my own thing because I work with my hands and work in the trades than any engineer that I know. So, you know, that they don't have to go to a four-year traditional college to, to achieve their goals and live the life they want to live. A lesson learned for some of these high schoolers. I'm working at Caliber Collision, and I'm enjoying myself there, so I hope that I can either continue in the auto body program or do something else with welding. If I go to Dunwoody, I'm going for mechanics and to DCTC, I will be taking collisions. Post high school, I'm going to be welding. Um, actually, right now I'm attending uh, college and I'm doing PSEO classes while I'm in high school. Lane says he grows more impressed with these future automotive industry workers and hopeful for the future. I thought all young People of this age group just wanted to be social media influencers. Um, they, they want to work with their hands. They want to do something. AI will never replace somebody who works in the trades. And that's the Minneapolis Public Schools team hopes to have their rat rod go-kart completed by the end of May. They and Lakeville North will then present the finished go-karts nice. at the 2024 Back to the 50s weekend in June out at the State Fairgrounds. Cool. I love that kid who's like, I just stop people and I'm like, hey, want to see my picture with this guy? <laughs> that was one of the instructors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good for them. I mean, people seemed really genuinely engaged and kind of like re-inspired to go after that thing they're already clearly interested in. And a few of the students said, I was just going into this course because my parents said, hey, learn how to change a tire, maybe learn how to change the oil. It's a good thing to have. And they said, honestly, I absolutely fell in love with it. I didn't yeah. think it would happen, but I really enjoy it. Yeah. That's great.